Hey guys and gals, A here. I'm bringing you shopping with me today. We are going to Bass Pro Shops. So come check it out. We'll go in and see what they have and uh, I'll uh, hopefully be able to pick up a few things and uh, take you back home and show you what I got. So stick around because here we go. guys and gals we are in the flashlight section and they have some charging options the stations you can take with you and some solar options as well as a lot of lanterns Coleman is pretty good and uh, that is actually pretty cool to me I don't think I'm gonna get one for 20 but I like that you can rock your four dollar pen lights two for eight bucks um Lumor, which i haven't heard of nebo which i have heard of they got some of theirs and then this is i protect i believe that's the name yeah i protect um but they have quite an assortment here and this one actually caught my eye a little small 90 degree light here they're claiming up to 600 lumens high medium and off or i guess high low and off sorry about that and uh comes with your headlamp strap little 90 degree flashlight and a uh proprietary charger so that one's actually pretty cool if i needed a headlamp one of those combo ones i would probably try that out because i have not heard of iProtec. and then you've got your princeton tech and the black diamond headlamps and they have a ton of options from your $20 ones all the way up to a hundred dollars so basically take your pick you'll find something that works for you and then their own version of the uh, mini pull-up lanterns for seven bucks we uh, pulled out the tab on one of them from the battery pack compartment and those are actually pretty good um, but yeah, not a lot of, of flashlights here. I'm a little surprised we don't have name, like bigger name brands, Streamlight or Phoenix or something, but they do have uh, iProtec and Nebo. So I'll uh, travel around and see if we find any more. Definitely didn't skimp on the headlamps, but a little disappointed in the actual flashlights. So we'll see. More flashlights. This is CTL. I believe it might be a Cabela's brand. And they've got a uh, $15 pin light at 130 lumens. And then a larger bag style light. They also sell replacement batteries. And then a uh, smaller, what looks like more of a, as kind of an EDC light for uh, 40 bucks, 800 lumens. And the knife section, you have the Cabela's knife, uh, 10 bucks. The Cabela set, a knife, and an EDC flashlight for 12 bucks. And I might get one of these and try that out. And then you have Cabela's knives. A uh, whole lot of them. That's kind of impressive. I didn't know they got into the to the knife making game this hard. And you have the redhead knife. I've seen redhead as their clo clothes. And you have a uh, folding pack combo. Now we got all the Kershaw's a lot of Kershaw's here Swiss Army knives Victoria Knox's you have a cadet one of my favorites the tinker I swear by you got brownies as well as bugs a lot of a lot of knives here Seeing what jumps out at me. Some CRKTs. The minimalist cleaver. That's pretty cool. And then uh, some Smiths. I've used their sharpeners. And then the classics. You got the old timers. 
quite a few of those. And then Uncle Henry, some uh, fixed blades and some folders. So quite a variety of knives here, at least on this section. And then behind us, axes, shade, you got Gerbers, you got saws, machetes, axes, um, some fixed blades here. Uh, Ontario, there is the Rat 2 and there's the Rat 1. Those are some of my favorite knives from long ago. Love a good Rat 2 and can't beat a Rat 1. It's a larger knife, but awesome. I'll have to, might have to bring mine out. You got Smith & Wesson. I'm sure everybody started out at some point in the early days of knives with the Smith & Wesson. And you got the MMPs. I don't know that I've ever actually owned an MMP, but they are definitely some different designs. Those are, uh, <laughs> they're some lookers. I kind of dig some of them. Don't know I'd ever carry them. And then SOG. Lots of SOGs. But not disappointed at all by their uh, knife section. Uh, Twitch 2 with a wood grain handle. That's pretty cool. Here's a whole case of case, as well as some bench maids and CRKTs. And that bench made bug out is gorgeous. And then back in the back here, we got some fixed blades and some multi tools, Gerbers and Leathermans. A pretty good selection here on knives not not disappointed at all leatherman section they got the free p2 and p4s uh skeletal i just got that guy for my birthday um they got a few varieties of the skeletal the original the cx and the coyote uh, got the bond that's a newer one that just came out we got the Wave Plus, which is still on my list of things to get. The beloved Ratchet Driver. Uh, the Raptors. And then we got Gerber's Multi Tools. You got several of those options, as well as the Arm Bar. Love the Arm Bar. And uh, smaller Multi Tools, some fixed blades by Gerber, and then getting into their folders. Speaking of classics, everybody starts with, I think everybody gets the pair frame blacker stainless there's the stainless version and uh i'm digging these meat cleaver styles i have to try one of those sometime and uh the exchange of blade ones i'm talking about meat cleaver the mini cleave then you got the havalons which are known for their exchange of blade concept all of your knife sharpening work sharp and uh, some more sharpening the smiths which is great and uh, some more flashlights I protect again got the Cabela's the CTLs which we've seen some Cabela's headlamps and throwers and then finally found the streamlight section I wondered if they would have them got the stylus pros still a solid light the ProTech 1 AAA, one of my favorite smaller flashlights to carry. I don't see a micro stream, um, but they got the ProTech, the 2 AA, the 1L, and the uh, ProTech 90 degree. Really love a 90 degree flashlight as well as get your battery here. So not disappointed at all in this. They also have the 511 backpacks here, which I wasn't expecting. And I have the 24 and the 72, and those are great. As well as 511 clothes. Who knew? So, one pro tip I have for you guys these are the small size caliber ammo cases, and they are excellent battery compartments. So, you can find them, and uh, they perfectly hold double and triple A batteries. And, uh, super nice and organized and hold a lot i love storing my batteries in small caliber ammo cases all right we are walking out of bass pro shops had some fun shopping around saw a lot of cool gear and uh didn't get much because uh 
I don't know, I just, it just had my birthday, like literally just had my birthday. So I was like, I can't justify buying a ton of new stuff when I got a ton of new stuff. But they have a lot of great gear there and I did get a few things. So come on home and we'll check out what I got. All right, guys and gals, we are back at the house. Now it's a, it's not the same day. Um, that was my birthday that I was actually shopping on and uh, ended up having some dinner with friends and stuff like that. So uh, it's now a minute since then, but I wanted to show you what I actually got at Bass Pro Shops. Um, I haven't even used anything yet, so I'm very excited to do this video so I can now use my items. But uh, I ended up picking up four things. Uh, the first one I got was um, just a little pack of plastic cutlery. Um, nothing special here. I think it was like four or five bucks for the set. It was 99 cents for the individual pieces. They sold them individually and, um, and uh, they were the same brand but they did not have the spoons in the individual ones they were sold out and comparing them they felt a little a little cheaper so if they had the individuals i would have bought them you know i would have purchased three individual items and you know spent three bucks instead of this like four or five dollar package but they didn't and i wanted the set um i always keep a little bit of uh like some sort of utensil in my car just for when you go out you know you're picking up fast food on a road trip or whatever and you end up not having um the utensils you need to eat they come in very handy i had this like really cool um it was it was about this long maybe and it was flat and it had like a spork on the end, so like the spoon fork combo, and the handle actually slid down. So you would like slide it back and the handle would flip up and you'd have like a full size spork. Um, but my husband used it one day when he didn't have something to eat his salad with and where has it ended up? Nobody knows. So I made him get these for me to replace that. And now we'll have an actual full set in there and uh, should come in handy but we'll have a knife as well because we didn't have a knife because you know we never have knives on us i never have a knife on me so if we didn't have one with the utensil set we'd be out of luck but i got that so i will give these a good hand washing and uh, i'll figure out some like um i'll put like a uh, like one of those um uh, who makes them they have they're like metal with like rubberized stuff on the end they're like zip ties but like permanent ones we have a ton of those around so i'll pray if they'll fit if they'll fit in there i'll thread those on this and drop it into my glove compartment and then we'll have all three together but be able to take them apart so i'll report back on how they are it's cheap little cutlery you can get them at walmart uh bass pro shops target you know whatever any outdoor store so good stuff good stuff um I got, as no one is surprised, I did purchase those scissors and uh, very excited for these. They are the Coleman multi-use scissors. They are a 12 in one. They have a fish scaler, a knife, a wrench, scissors, bottle opener, a nutcracker, a jar wrench, wire strippers, wire cutters. They also have a can opener, a flathead screwdriver, and a magnet. But they're scissors, which is why I got them. So let's see here. Bam. I could see how if you had a, a bigger hand, how these may be a little tight. Um, I do not have a big hand and it fits my four fingers, but I could also see how you could just pop that, pop your pinky right there and you should be good if four fingers don't fit. But they uh, got a lot, a lot going on here. And cut through the plastic pretty well obviously cutting through the cardboard well. I like them guys. I forget exactly how much they are, but you just watched the video so you know you were just shopping with me. So uh, I might get more when I go back. I might grab another. They are a large scissor, but
but that that's pretty cool. I dig that. It's it's a very good scissor and it has some other uses. So these will probably be relegated to either the kitchen where they will be used a lot or in here. And if I get more, then I'll have more elsewhere. But those are those are good scissors. I like them, guys. Coleman's got a good product. Uh, I will see if I have if I can find them on Amazon and link them there. You can find that down below. And then let's see here. This one I am very excited for. You guys have now seen my organization system for all of my gear, uh, just all around. This is how I plan on traveling with it. So it is one of the Plano Guide Series cases. Um, and this is the uh, waterproof electronics case, model 147080. Uh, 147080, and it has the, uh, it pops down on three sides, oh, sorry, I'm off camera, so it, I'll lock it back up to show you, so it, you have a handle on one side, a handle on the, or, um, um, a clasp on the other, and then on the front, and all of those are the same, you just kind of loosen them up, and then up front, you have two holes here, so you can lock this thing up. So if I'm traveling with it and we're in a hotel room and us and the little guy are in the same, you know, like one big hotel room, I could pop a lock on here and he's not accessing the knives. But uh, opens up like that, has foam in the top. And then this is what I'm very excited about. It has one foam layer, two foam layers, and then the bottom. So, and the bottom, uh, okay, so three foam layers, I was incorrect, and then that is the bottom. This is a, just a plain piece of foam down here. So, my plan with this is to, these have, you can see it there, how it's separating. These have little squares, and you can punch them out, cut them out, and custom fit items in here. And so, what I'm, do, what I'm planning on doing is uh, I am going to pop out you know like some foam here and put in a flashlight and you know like like this might end up being um you know like my flashlight one and then this layer you know might end up being multi-tools and pens and then you know this layer might end up being pocket knives and so when I open this up boom here's my pocket knives and my hope is and we'll obviously see how this works but my hope is that, you know, when I travel, everything's in here and it's, you know, cut to size, it fits it. And then, you know, I'm like, okay, well, this is the knife I'm going to use today. And then hopefully what I'm hoping is I can grab this and move it out of the way with the knives still in there. And then boom, there's, you know, next layer. So grab what I want from that, pick this one up and move it out of the way. And like I said, the, the hope is that the items stay in. Um, one thing I have been thinking about for items that are thin enough is instead of removing the whole piece, cause it is, it's removed, like you, you remove the whole piece, um, is to maybe remove half of it. That way like knives and flatter items, pens had an area to sit. So I could lift it like a tray. Um, but, uh, on like flashlights that are thicker or multi-tools that are thicker, I would have to remove the whole item, which obviously means when I pick up the, tr the tray, the item will be left behind, but it should at least be easily enough that I could just, you know, move it off to the side to access the next row. And at least when I'm traveling, uh, these items will be very well protected and should not gain any damage. So this is the Plano box. Um, if it ends up looking pretty cool when I'm done, it might end up sitting on my desk somewhere uh, open. So it might become a part of my decoration. I was not leaning towards the black. I wanted, um, they had a, an OD green, they had coyote tan, and they had orange. And honestly, of all four colors, this is the one I didn't want. Um, I would have taken any of the other three over it. But uh, this size, um, it, it had three layers. A lot of the others had two and it's bigger. Um, this was, I believe one of the largest ones they had in this series, if not the largest. And the, um, 
the others were smaller. And so my husband and I were talking about, it. he's like, get the bigger one. And I was like, no, I want, I'll get this middle size one and I'll get, you know, this tan color. We'll be good to go. And he's like, get the bigger one. If you get that, you're going to end up having to get two or three. It'll be more money. Just get the bigger one. And uh, so got the bigger one and it only, they only had it in black, uh, at least at the store we were at, at the time. So very excited to try this out. I will put this to work and when, uh, when I get it done, I will show you guys. But if that's traveling with me, I imagine it's going to be constantly evolving. Like um, I'll have some knives in it and, you know, the holes will probably be switch outable so I can pop whatever knife I want when I'm traveling. But pretty excited for that. And then the last item that I got, I'm very, very, very excited for. I got that lovely gray and orange bench made that I pointed out to you guys on camera. And it is just as gorgeous in hand. Now I have noticed um, it is a, it is a little, uh, it is a little stiff. I can, I can flip it uh, open and closed, but it definitely takes some effort. So it'll loosen up as I, as I use it, but gorgeous knife. That is the full size bench made. I've only ever had my orange uh, mini. It's a full size bug out, bug out. I've only ever had the mini bug out. I have one bug out and it is the orange mini. And I love that knife. You guys have seen it a lot. It's frequently in my EDC, but this is the full size bug out. And as you can tell, I can get a very full grip on that. Whole hand goes on that. And uh, that knife like that, I did look it up and this knife right here and this coloration gray and orange, that is a Cabela's Bass Pro Shop exclusive. And so that was, that was honestly why we snatched it up. Um, otherwise we were probably walking out without it. But when we learned that it was the exclusive, you never know when those are going to stop. So we're like, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick that up while we see it. And orange is my favorite color and gray is my second favorite color. Um, so it works out very well. Like this is, if I made a knife, this might very well be what I would make because I love orange. I love gray. I love green, but orange and gray, man, that's where it's at. So there you go, guys. That was my um, that was my rake in from the birthday trip to Bass Pro Shops. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like going shopping with me. I actually had a lot of fun doing that. So if it's something you're into, maybe we make that uh add that into the rotation as I take you guys shopping and show you what kind of EDC gear I can find. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Guys, this was awesome. I hope you had a great time and I hope you got some ideas for stuff you wanted. And you know, I'm never going to ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Come back next time for our next video. And as always, EDC, EDC.